In this video, we are going to look at Ethereum 2.0 and the upcoming upgrades that are all part of achieving that upgrade to Ethereum 2.0, as well as the highly anticipated EIP 1559 upgrade, which is just one of the many upgrades on the way to ETH 2.0. What's up guys, Dirk here from IntelligentCryptocurrency.com. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below, click that notification bell, and if you wanna get on my email list for updates that way to make sure you never miss anything, the link is in the description down below. So before we get into today's content, just a quick note about our sponsor, Prime XBT, who have sponsored the channel for the month. They call themselves a next generation trading platform that allows you to trade global financial markets using Bitcoin, USDT, USDC, and more. And it's actually even possible to trade crypto, stock indices, commodities, and Forex from just a single account. So they were established in 2018, so they've been around for a while. They currently serve clients in more than 150 different countries, and they provide top tier liquidity and a wide range of trading tools while maintaining security, liquidity, and enabling a safe trading environment for everyone. So if you want to check them out, you can create a free account with them today. It's the first link in the description below. If you use the voucher code Diggy50, you also get a deposit bonus all the details are below in the terms of conditions, so check that out if you want first link in the description below. So let's start off with some network stats over here on the official site, ethereum.org. So you can see as I'm making this video today, the price of ETH is $2,213. The amount of transactions that happened today is 1.182 million transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. That is quite a significant number. There is $54 billion locked in a DeFi, so decentralized finance, and there are currently 6,895 nodes that are helping Ethereum be decentralized. So as you probably know, the Ethereum network has been around since 2015, but it was not built for the ability to scale and handle even the volume that it has now, let alone to become the smart contract platform for the entire world to build on. So Ethereum until this point has been proof of work just like Bitcoin. So there are miners with computers who are constantly validating transactions to get rewards. Now that has no longer the ability to scale and to help solve the scaling issues and the high fees. So Ethereum is in the process of upgrading to what they call Ethereum 2.0 which in theory would be a completely scalable low fee network then to be able to handle all the applications on it and all the activity and would make it much faster and much cheaper like the idea has always been. Now, because Ethereum is already built and being used, it is not so easy to complete that scaling process. It's like imagine you're driving a car and you have to improve or service or upgrade that car while you're busy driving it. So all these applications are built on top of Ethereum and they're currently running. There's transactions like I showed you, more than a million transactions on the Ethereum blockchain in the last 24 hours. Meaning that in order to upgrade this entire network, it makes it much more difficult to do as people are using it and that is why it is a longer and slower process. Now, a quick rundown, Ethereum 2.0 is set to be achieved, but it can take many months, if not multiple years, before we eventually get to that point. And it's basically just being done in stages with upgrades being applied one at a time. So the links to all of this is down below in the description if you do wanna read more. Um, I would recommend that so you understand what is exactly happening. So this is basically explaining what is ETH2. ETH2 refers to a set of interconnected upgrades that will make Ethereum more scalable, more secure, and more sustainable. These upgrades are being built by multiple teams from across the Ethereum ecosystem. So as a DAP user or ETH holder, you don't need to do anything. That's an important point to know. Don't worry about it needing to change anything or anything like that. At this point, there's nothing you need to do. So Ethereum has to be able to go mainstream, which currently in its current form it cannot. So 
ETH2 will make it more scalable, more secure, and more sustainable. It needs to be able to support thousands of transactions per second to make applications faster and cheaper to use. Nobody's gonna pay $100 or two or $300 to do a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain, okay? That's absolutely ridiculous for mainstream adoption. It's just not possible. It needs to be more secure. So the, as the adoption of Ethereum grows, the protocol needs to become more secure against all forms of attack and it needs to be more sustainable. So you can dive into the ETH2 vision. I'm not gonna do that in this video. So again, the links are below in the description. ETH 2.0 upgrade. So this is basically the important ones that we need to keep an eye on. And the beacon chain, this was a major upgrade. It is already live. And this is basically helping for the transition from proof of work to proof of stake. And the beacon chain is allowing for the staking, okay? It brings the staking to Ethereum, it lays the groundwork for future updates, and will eventually coordinate the new system. This is already live. Then, we have a series of upgrades between the beacon chain coming and the merge. So when everything is ready, the Ethereum mainnet is going to merge with the beacon chain that is already live at some point, which is going to change Ethereum from being proof of work to proof of stake. This is estimated to happen in 2021, but like with anything uh, coding or programming related, especially with the size of the Ethereum project, there is no way to set hard deadlines that will probably be pushed out, who knows. But at the moment it is estimated 2021. And then next year in 2022, shard chains, which basically expand Ethereum's capacity to process transactions and store data, these shards themselves will gain more features over time rolled out in multiple phases. So you might have heard the phrase, the EIP-1559. EIP is basically an Ethereum improvement proposal. Now Ethereum is open source, so EIPs are standards specifying potential new features or processes for Ethereum. EIPs contain technical specifications for the process proposed changes and act as a source of truth for the community. Network upgrades and application standards for Ethereum are discussed and developed through the EIP process. Anyone within the Ethereum community has the ability to create an EIP and guidelines are included over here. EIPs matter because they play a central role in how changes happen and are documented on Ethereum. They are a way for people to propose, debate, and adopt changes. So without going into too much detail, again, the links are below if you wanna learn more, that is what an EIP is. So the EIP 1559 is just an Ethereum improvement proposal that is going to be done. So London testnet announcement. So the long anticipated London upgrade is now ready for deployment on Ethereum testnets. The first upgrade will go live on Robston at block 104.99401, which has happened around 24 June. So this has already happened. This followed the Berlin upgrade. So they give names of cities, Berlin, London, to the various upgrades. And there's basically just a whole lot of different upgrades and proposals going live. Now this London upgrade includes the various EIPs. And as you can see, there are multiple of them, but one of the bigger ones that is more anticipated is the one 559, which is the fee market change for Ethereum 1.0. So diving into this, it's the EIP 1559. It's the fee market change for the ETH 1.0 chain. So a simple summary is the EIP 1559 is a transaction pricing mechanism that includes fixed per block network fee that is burnt and dynamically expands and contracts block sizes to deal with transient congestion. So heading over to this article on Coindesk, four common misperceptions about Ethereum's EIP-1559 upgrade. You can see over here, so included in the London upgrade, there are five code changes, EIPs, what we just covered just now. But this is interesting. So there's four myths surrounding the EIP-1559. So the first one is it is aimed at reducing high fees on Ethereum. It says at its core, the aim is to make transaction fees less volatile and more predictable by creating an algorithmic model to automatically adjust the cost by a factor of 1.125 at most per block. EIP-1559 on its own will not affect how many transactions the network is able to handle at once. Myth number two, it will make Ethereum's monetary policy more predictable because it introduces a fee burning mechanism that will permanently remove ETH coins from the total circulating supply. Now the reason for burning the base fee rather than distributing to the Ethereum miners is to ensure that there is no financial incentive for miners to artificially congest the network and keep the base fee high. 
While EIP-1559 introduces a counterbalance against every increase in Ether supply, it does not make Ethereum's long-term monetary policy more stable. On the contrary, it introduces economic instability to the network by making it impossible to control what the total supply of Ether will be over time. Myth number three, it is likely that it will cause e Ethereum miners to quit and attack the network. So this is a big deal because it is estimated that miners are going to lose 20 to 35% of their income with the activation of EIP-1559. And there have been petitions from mining entities on Ethereum to stop this EIP from being accepted into the London upgrade. Despite the opposition from members of the Ethereum mining community, this EIP-1559 is expected to be released on Ethereum's main network in July. And finally, myth number four, EIP-1559 will solve the issues of minor extractable value on Ethereum. So minor revenue on Ethereum has historically consisted of a fixed block subsidy and a transaction fees. However, as a result of the growing popularity for high frequency trading on decentralized exchanges, so on DEXs, the minor income from MEV has become increasingly lucrative. Research and development organization Flashbots estimate daily income from MEV has grown from half a million dollars at the start of this year to over six million dollars in June. EIP-1559 reduces the ability for miners to rely on transaction fees as a way to extract MEV from users, but the ability for miners to order transactions and thereby earn MEV through other means will remain unchanged. So the transition to proof of stake and ETH 2.0 is well on its way. The beacon chain is already live, which allows for that staking feature of ETH to, to go live. And there are already millions of ETH staked in the 2.0 deposit contract in preparation for that. So you can see since the start of this year, late last year actually, how this has grown and how much ETH is continuously being staked. So you can see at this point when I'm making this video, it's almost 6 million Ether that has been staked in ETH 2.0. So this is continuously increasing. It is looking very promising. And of course, over time, um, I will make another video about ETH 2.0 staking where you're gonna need at least 32 ETH to be able to run your own node, but there will also be staking pools and other ways to do that if you have less than 32 ETH. But that will make for another video. At this point in time, I just wanted to explain basically uh, a basic summary of ETH 2.0, the various upgrades that we've gone through, and the important one, which is the London upgrade with the EIP 1559, which over the next weeks and months, could be very interesting for Ethereum once it all gets rolled out, once it gets activated, and maybe this is going to really have a bullish effect on the price. Either way, what happen whatever happens in the short term, in the longer term, these upgrades are going to be very beneficial for the success of Ethereum, and of course, then hopefully as a result for the price of ETH. So, again, in the long term, there is a lot planned but it just takes time to happen. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. This gives you a bit more insights into Ethereum, what is happening, the various upgrades. And as this continues to roll out throughout the year, I will continue to make updates and videos on the process and how things are coming along. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Get on my email list. The link is in the description below. And for the rest, have an awesome day. I will see you in the next video.